Hello, Princess on a Pillow here. I am here to do a review slash recap with my opinion on Seeking Sister Husband. This is called Polyandries. Um, I think that's what it's, how you pronounce it, Polyandries. Um, that's one woman having more than one husband. So this life is not for me, but to each its own. Just had to say that. So this is season one, episode one. It's titled, It's Raining Men. Okay, first couple is Elise and Mike. They're from California, and they have been married for almost four years. Elise said she cheated on Mike while they were dating. She said because she had a really intense connection with someone else. I say that in order to have a really um, intense connection with someone, you have to put yourself in their space. And if you're dating someone exclusively, you don't put yourself in someone's space to get a connection with them, an intense connection with them. That's what I say. Anywho, um... Uh, Mike, her husband, said it took a while, but he got used to the idea of Elise having a connection with other men. Elise claims that Mike did not want to tell friends and family because he didn't want them to see her in a bad light. No, I think he didn't tell friends and family because he didn't want them to see him in a bad light because he's allowing his wife to go have sex with all these other men. You know? Anyway, Mike tells Elise that he trusts her, but there is um, he still feels jealousy and anxiety. Now, if you love your husband, would you want to put him through all of that? Would you want to put him through the pain of being jealous and um, having anxiety because you're out here dating other men? No, I don't think so. If I love somebody, I don't want to put them through that pain. And I'm hoping that if somebody loved me, they wouldn't want to put me through that pain either. Um, so next we see Elise and her parents. Um, she's at her parents' house. And her mother is taking pictures of her to put on her website for an, uh, um, a dating app, actually. To sign up for, um, um, to meet men online. Her mom is all on board with this. Her mom and her father are on board with this. But her pictures look like trash. She's sitting there with her glasses on. Here just hanging down with a wine, holding a wine glass like this. Jazz it up. I mean, I'm not for this, but you need to, if you're going to do it, do it right. Jazz it up. Curl your hair. Put some highlights in. Take that glasses off. Show some um, shoulder. Do something. Make it look fun. Come on, now. If you're going to do it, do it right. Anyway, her mother thinks, told her that it, she thinks it's weird that her daughter is looking for men online while she's married. And the mother asks her if her husband, Mike, is not enough for her. She goes, yes, Mike is enough for me. He's, I just need somebody different than Mike. See? I tell you, these people are something else. They're just not satisfied with what they have. But her parents seem to be on board. They seem to be okay with it. So Elise tells her parents that Mike's mother is upset that she's looking to date other men. But of course. Who's... My, I have um, twin boys. They're 33 years old. If their wives were looking for other men online to date or wherever to date, I'd be upset with that too. I mean, what mother wouldn't be upset? So what she's going to do now, she's going to get her mom and dad to go help her talk to Mike's mother to bring her around to the idea of she sleeping around with a bunch of men on her son. I don't like um Elisa. I think that's, that's her name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Elisa. And then she says she doesn't want Mike's mother to hate her. You're doing a pretty good job. You're about to cheat on her um, her son. What do you think? She's going to love you for that? No, I don't think so. Come on, Elisa. I really don't think Elisa gives a damn how um, Mike's mother feels. Because she's still going to do what the hell she wants to do. Anyway, regardless of how Mike's mother feels. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so next we see Alisa talking to Mike. And she asks him if he wants to meet the men that she's going to be f***ing with. I'm around with him on, you know? If she, if he wants to meet these women. And he said, yes, he wants to meet these women. And she said, Wouldn't, don't you think that's weird for you to meet them? Don't you think it's weird that you're cheating on your husband? You're, you're online with a dating app to um, find men to cheat on your husband with? Don't you think that's weird? Um, so she asked her husband if... Um, if he would mind seeing her holding hands and kissing somebody else. He said, of course. Of course he's not going to like that. He said, it's not going to be easy seeing that. But, you know, that's what they decided on doing. I don't know why would he agree to something like that. Why? Um, so they decide to establish rules. And they only came up with one rule. And the one rule is, um, don't bring another man into our bed. That's what Mike said. Don't bring another man into our bed. And Elisa said, of course not. We'll just use a spare room. He's like, no, don't bring another man back to this house. And she's like, well, what if you go away for the weekend? Can I bring him back then? He's like, no. And she goes, okay, okay, we won't. But I bet you as soon as Mike leaves town, she's going to bring another man right back to that house. Well, that's the end of Mike and um, Elisa. Next up is Kenya, Carl, and Tiger. They're from Houston, Texas. I'm sorry I keep doing this. I have sinus problems. I'm sorry. Okay, so Carl is Kenya's husband of 26 years, and Tiger is her husband of 10 years. Tiger is not really the husband. Carl is really the husband. Carl is really who she's married to with kids. Um, and it looks like she wears the pants in the family. Kenya and Carl, they have three kids. And I don't even think the kids live there. I don't think the kids live at the house. Because we didn't see the kids. We saw pictures of the kids, but we didn't see the actual kids. Uh, Kenya said her and Carl decided that she can have multiple partners because she met and fell in love with someone else. <laughs> and I say again, you don't see someone and fall in love with them. You have to be in their space to start talking to them, dating them, going out to dinner. And that's how you, you know, build a relationship with someone and you can fall in love with somebody. It's not like she saw somebody across the way and said, oh, he's cute. Let me go talk to him. You don't fall in love like that. She says so she had to have been in his space to fall in love with somebody. But you're married. So while you're in somebody else's space, I will never understand that. Anyway. Um, Carl said they talked about it for two years. So then he decided to allow her to be free. Kenya said she met Tiger at a Halloween party. She said he was dressed as Tiger Woods and he was looking hot and sexy. She said so they slow dance. See now my husband would not be allowed to slow dance with anybody. Why would I want my husband rubbing up against somebody? Mm -mm, my husband's not allowed to slow dance. I'm not allowed to slow dance with anybody. He's not allowed to slow dance with somebody. But she's slow dancing with Tiger. Okay. Um, so we find out that Kenya wants to still go out there and find another man to date other than Carl and Tiger. And Tiger doesn't seem to be happy about that. And I think Carl, Carl is probably seeing somebody else because he doesn't seem bothered by it. He doesn't seem to care. He's just sitting there quiet, not talking about anything, not doing anything. I don't think Carl is in a relationship with Kenya anymore. <clears throat> so Kenya says she shares a bedroom with Tiger and then Carl has his own room. See? Carl has his own room doing his own thing. Carl is not in a relationship with Kenya as far as I'm concerned. Carl looks like he's checked out. Carl just, he just looks like he lives there. Carl's just a friend. He's probably seen somebody else. So Kenya wants Tiger to move out of the bedroom because she wants to bring another man into her bedroom. And Tiger asked Kenya, why does she want to bring in another man? And Kenya told him that she's just not in love. And she likes to be in love. So she wants to fall in love again and bring another man in. Because she's not in love with Carl. She's not in love with Tiger. And she enjoys being in love. He said she's ready to fall in love with someone new. If that's not an insult, I don't know what is. I think she's just plain selfish. And she don't care about how anybody feels. She don't care about how Tiger feels. 
Tiger asked her why he's not enough for her. And she said, it's not that you're not enough for me. She said, it, we're, I'm, we're moving into a new phase. That means she's done, you know, with him. He's not doing it for her anymore. So she needs somebody new who's going to, you know, juice it up, spice it up. Kenya told Tiger that she thinks he he has noticed the shift in their relationship. <clears throat> um, and Tiger agrees with her. He said basically um, he's not giving her any sex because of his job. I guess he's too tired from his job to give her any sex. And in the meantime, Carl is just sitting there listening. He's not putting, giving in, saying anything. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there listening, not saying a word. And you can tell Carl doesn't have sex with her anymore because if... Tiger won't have sex with her. You would think that she would go to Carl for some sex. Carl is not having any sex with her. Carl is just in the, the um that one bedroom, living by himself, doing his own thing. He's just a friend at this at this point. Kenya said every morning she asks Tiger for sex, and he doesn't want to be bothered. And you notice she didn't say she asked Carl for sex. She said she asked Tiger for sex. So Tiger is the only one she has a sexual relationship with. If she was having a sexual relationship with Carl, if she asks Tiger for sex and Tiger sent, turns her down, then she'll go to Carl. But Carl is not having sex with her. Carl's seen somebody else. And they're just buddies. Her and Carl are just buddies at this point. Um, so Tiger is afraid that the next man that comes in to the house will be bigger, better, stronger, and will last longer than him. Um... And that's a shame. Kenya has two men at, at, at home and she has to beg for sex. Wow. So we find out that Tiger wants to marry Kenya. But Kenya does not want to marry Tiger. Um, Kenya's excuse for not wanting to marry Tiger is his mother. Kenya says Tiger's mother thinks he is having a fling. He's just having a fling with a married woman. Um, Kenya basically said that once Tiger's mother acknowledge her as more than just a fling, then she'll marry Tiger. Bull. She is not going to marry Tiger. She does not want to marry Tiger. And it has nothing to do with the mother. If Kenya is, she looked like the um the leader of this relationship. And she looked like she does whatever the hell she wants to do. If she wanted to marry Tiger, she'd marry Tiger regardless of how his mother feels. Next is Kim, Dustin, and Vincent. They're from North Carolina. Kim and Dustin have been together for 13 years. Dustin has three sons from a previous marriage and one son with Kim. They decided they wanted to bring another man into their relationship. Um, they wanted another man for, for Kim and a buddy for Dustin. Dustin, don't have any friends? You need another man to your wife to be your friend? That's crazy. So then here comes Vincent. Vincent, they met Vincent through friends. And Vincent said, I think they lied because first they said they met him through friends. Then they said they talked to him over social media. If you met him through friends and you're going to meet him and talk to him face to face or even call him and talk to him on the phone. She said she talked to him through social, social media. After she said that she met him through friends, then she said she, she um talked to, to him through social media. So I think she lied. So anyway, Vincent said when Kim came into his life, he didn't... um. He didn't say when Kim and um, Dustin came into his life. He said when Kim came into his life. Mm -hmm. So he said when Kim came into his life, um, he had um, gone through two divorces and he was ashamed. Well, let me tell you, I've been through, through two divorces also. I'm a little bit ashamed because I keep picking these idiots to marry. Anyway, enough about me. But yeah, he said he got, went through two divorces and he was ashamed. And Vincent has three kids. Vincent said Kim saw how ashamed he was and she just accepted him for who he was. And they have more than a Brady Bunch going on here. Dustin has three kids from a previous marriage. Um, Dustin has, and Kim has one child. And then Vincent has three kids. Anyway, um, so now Kim and Vincent... Uh, let me see. Kim claims that she and Vincent had a very, very strong feelings for each other, and it happened quickly. Dustin said him and Vincent, um, and his kids, him and Vincent get along 
great and his kids and Vincent kids get along great. And um, Dustin says he's happy to have a best friend. Couldn't he find a best friend somewhere else? You got to find a friend. You got to be best friends with the person who's having sex with your wife. He said he's happy to have a best friend as someone he can confide in. You're supposed to be best friends with your wife. And you're supposed to confide in your wife. That's why we. That's how we know that these um relationships are not real. These relationships are not real. These spouses, they're not real. They don't. They, the spouse want more. The um, the women want more than their husbands are providing for them. They're not providing them anything. That's why they want. They're going outside the relationship and looking for something more. That's what I think anyway. Um, Vincent said at first he was, it was awkward with Dun with Dustin, but then they realized that they both love Kim, so um, they started to bond. Him and Dustin started to bond, and Dustin seems to be okay with Kim dating around, and Vincent on the other hand is not because now Kim wants she just she has Dustin and she has Vincent, but she wants to date other men. Vincent is not okay with that. Dustin is okay with that, but Vincent is not okay with that. And I guess Vincent doesn't live with them. Maybe he used to live with them and he's not living with them anymore because they kind of broke up. Because um, he comes over for dinner and he didn't have, have a key. He had to ring the bell for them to open up the door and let him in. So I'm not sure if he was living there with them and then they broke up because he comes over to have dinner with them to drink soup or eat soup to talk about their relationship because it looked like him and it looked like um, they broke up with Vincent because Vincent does not want Kim to go out there and find any more men to bring into the relationship. Um, he just wants it to be him, Dustin, and Vincent. No other men. Um, but they, he comes over for dinner. They sit at the dining room table and they're talking. Um, and Vincent, um, Kim tells the camera that her and Vincent broke up because she wants to date other people and he doesn't want that. And Vincent tells the camera that Kim sees other men. If if Kim sees other men, then she won't have time for him. So they sit down. They eat they're, to eat the soup. And um, Vince, uh, Kim tells Vincent how much she misses him. And then Kim tells Vincent that if he wants to be romantically involved with her, then he has to expect he has to accept the fact that she is going to be romantically involved with other men as well. Vincent told the camera that he does not know if he can do that because it's hard enough that he has to deal with Dustin. Now he got to deal with other men? And he said he doesn't know if he can handle um, other men coming into the relationship. And Dustin, Dustin is just sitting there listening. He doesn't care. Dustin is like Carl. He doesn't care. She's probably not having sex with Dustin. No. So, Kim put on her poker face, and she said, I, I, it is what it is. You know, if you can't handle me dating other men, other than you and Dustin, then you gotta go. She didn't say those words, but I'm pretty sure that's what she means. Anyway, this is the end of my review. I think there's another couple coming next week. Um, not another, not another couple, a trip, a tr couple of trouble. <laughs> because it's more than, it's not, a couple is two, it's gonna be three. Well, Princess on a Pillow here. Thank you for watching. Bye.